everybody, and welcome to me online, Mike Norichlow, sharing my love for people, wine, and today, beer, tagging along for the ride, food, and all things made passionately. All right, today's episode, like I mentioned in the past, we're intersplashing some beer reviews for you just to check out what's kind of new, what's out there, what's there to taste. So doing some beer today. So today we're talking IPA, India Pale Ale. Talked about Pale Ale last episode, done some lager, done Pale Ale. India Pale Ale, a much more hoppy, bitter style of making beer. Usually really bright, usually really acidic. A good kind of springtime, summertime burger beer. So we got a couple limited releases here to try for you. So we're gonna get right into it. So the first one we're trying is the Granville Island Limited Release Imperial IPA. Oh, look, pretty cool packaging there. Granville Island, local brewery to Vancouver. And like I said, also stick into some, some local breweries. It's about seven bucks for this bottle, seven, eight bucks, somewhere around there. Let's see how it plays out. Color, darker, richer color than a standard pale ale. More kind of your brown, orange hue. Let's see what's going on. Speaking brown, orange hue. On the nose, it's got a little bit of kind of that malt characteristic with a bit of orange peel, bitter orange zest. Hmm. Interesting nose, it's kind of like a candied almost, yeah, slight kind of spice, almost candied apple play, like, you know, the caramel apple on a stick. Interesting nose. Hmm. Good, this is different for, a, for an IPA. On the palate, wow. It's got that, this is a nice balanced IPA. Sometimes I find IPAs so hoppy they're hard to drink. This is quite nice. It's got that, like I said, kind of candied caramel apple with a nice kind of orange peel, like bitter orange rind, like you've been into that orange rind or whatever. Um, gives that bitterness, but it's balanced. It's got a nice soft mouthfeel. Um, not just ripping your tongue to pieces with the bitterness. And this is room temperature right now too. It's not served cold, just so I can get you some true character and personality of this beer. I, I like this. This goes really well. This would do super good with you. You know what? Big fat barbecue burger. <laughs> It'd be excellent. Some steak, something like that. Yeah, neat beer. It's almost got like a hint of kind of, it's got this neat softness. Neat soft, almost kind of butterscotchy, almost kind of doughy. If that's a good word for it. Yeah, it's just soft, doughy, butterscotchy, caramel apple. Orange peel, interesting beer. I like that, well done, Granville Island. Okay, next one. These guys, Mount Bagby Brewing Co. Now they're located in Revelstoke, BC. Cute little town in Revelstoke, or cute little town in BC that kind of took off over the last few years. Some resorts located around there, good ski resorts. So this is the Nasty Habit IP. I really like the packaging on this one. Kind of got the, I don't know, dude looks like kind of like a devil. Goat feet and legs, kind of going back into Narnia, I guess. I've got the goat crawling by. Neat label, I like that. Let's give ourselves a little rinse here. Mm -hmm. All right. Very similar in color to the first. It's got that neat kind of brownish orange color. Whoa, nice nose. Hmm, different nose than the first. It's got that bright bitterness that comes from the hops. This has almost got a neat sort of, let's go ahead and say spice or very citrusy. Yeah, extremely citrusy. A lot of that orange peel, but almost like you've thrown a little bit of lime into this one. A little bit of salted lime, let's put it that way. And I'm gonna venture to go into like the almost cantaloupe realm. Kind of melon. Yeah, a little bit of almost honey and melon and a bit of, um. Well, this one's kind of got, this has got a neat nose on it, I like this. Like buttered toast, buttered bread, neat IPA. Hmm. Hmm. Different palate, less hoppy than the first actually. Still got a lot of hops going on. It's got, yeah, the palate's almost like, if you took buttered bread, threw on some honey, and added a little bit of 
kind of lime zest or orange zest, a little bit of that peel, bit into it, you get that bitterness. It's kind of what I'm tasting here. Some neat spice too. Both really interesting IPAs. I'm kind of stoked on both these. I'd be both excellent spring sippers for your beer, patio, barbecue, burger time. Looking forward to spring. Anyway, a couple beers for you to check out, a couple IPAs. I love when I have good things to drink on the show. So thanks everybody out there so much for watching today. I'm supposed to say wine, deep pretentiousized, but beer's along for the ride and you don't get much less pretentious than beer. Rocking it with some local beers from BC. We'll see you on the next episode.